Panasonic Oxyride batteries pack 150% of the power of ordinary alkaline batteries. But unfortunately, they look no different than the others. The purpose of this campaign was to demonstrate the difference in power in a completely new way, attracting media attention to reach a far broader audience than would have been possible through conventional advertising. We wanted to make history. We started with this question. Can man fly on the power of batteries alone? Tests indicated that it could only be done with oxyride batteries, which have higher initial voltage than alkaline batteries. Could one of man's greatest dreams be powered by household batteries that are sold at kiosks? First, we announced this crazy challenge with a TV commercial. At this point, we didn't even know if it would work. Next, we aired a four-month TV series inviting viewers to watch the project take shape. And we built a website, encouraging people to communicate directly with the project team members. Soon, communities of supporters emerged on the web, and the reaction from the mass media was strong and immediate. Everything built up to the day of the challenge. We invited over 300 representatives of the media to witness the moment of truth. The news of our success spread far and wide. On the day of our household battery-powered flight, every major TV broadcaster in Japan covered the story for a total of 40 minutes of network airtime. Every major Japanese newspaper carried the story too, and it was even picked up by Time magazine and the BBC News, capturing imaginations all over the world. To celebrate the success of our challenge, we aired TV commercials and displayed the aircraft at Tokyo Station, generating even more publicity. We got results. We generated publicity estimated to be worth over $4 million, and surveys showed that brand recognition jumped some 30% to 85%. Oxyride was no longer just another battery. All the positive coverage and public support ended up putting our aircraft in the National Science Museum. And our historic feat was even reported at the annual conference of the World Air Sports Federation. The news flew farther than we could ever have imagined. A huge dream, powered by a tiny battery. <laughs>